Welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and it is my month long lock update. This is my third time filming this video because the first time I did it um, during the day yesterday and it was really crazy in here and it was too loud and I felt like I was yelling at you guys as well as rushing. Then I did it at night and I just would rather film with the sun out and I just, I haven't even looked at the footage and I already know that it's a, it's a no go. So I wrote here some notes for me to have so I can make this video um, go in order and also make sense. So you're gonna still hear the kids, but they're they're not as rowdy as they were yesterday. They were tripping out yesterday. So let's get to the point. Okay, boom. First things first, do I regret my decision? No, I do not. I still have no regret. I still feel really good about my decision. Um, I'm excited, especially um, how my hair is starting to look. I'm like, okay, girl, you doing something. You doing something. So no regrets so far. The only thing I think I wish I probably would have done is maybe just well not really I, I think it has more of a control thing like i think i stated before how i'm used to doing my hair i'm used to controlling what happens to my hair so now that i'm waiting for my next appointment i don't like it <laughs> i don't like waiting for another appointment i kind of feel like you know i used to get up see my hair and be like oh let me do my hair so waiting for this next appointment has been very anxiety ish for me because i'm like girl you could just do it but patience i have a week left number two my emotions this month so i feel i've been going up and down i think the first half of the month i was a little more anxious because i obviously i'm anxious about the results i'm anxious about my hair texture itself how it's going to respond and overall it's kind of been like what's going to happen what do i need to ensure that things happen and i also know it's a process and i have to let my hair do what she's going to do but you know once again, coming from taking care of my hair since middle school to this point of kind of letting it do its thing for longer periods of time, I'm feeling a little crazy. So I was a little anxious. I was like messaging my loctician, not a whole lot. Courtney, did I? Just to ask her like what she thinks my, um, like my, I guess end result will be because I know my hair is much finer than what the locks that I actually like. So. I'm just, I guess in my mind, I can't really see my hair thickening up or, you know, what, whatever it is, but I'm sure it happens. It will happen. So, you know, boom, that's basically what I was going through the first half of the month. And then on to what I learned that allowed me to calm down was that Chardell, you know, hair, I've been doing hair in general since I can remember. I've been doing my hair for forever because my mother does not do hair. So I had to, you know, learn to do my hair, obviously. And I know what my hair needs. I know what, you know, I know my hair. And I think what I was trying to do or thinking, like, I was thinking, like, you know, I'm getting locks and, like, what's going to happen if, like, I don't do it right or something. <laughs> I don't know. So I watched this video and the guy in the video said, it's still hair. What your hair needs is what your hair needs. It's still hair. And I'm like, you know what? He's right. It's still hair. It's still my hair. It's just doing something different. So after I came to that realization, I was more confident in the choices I was making for my hair. I.e., I did do like a water rinse um, just because my hair thrives off water and moisture. Just like a lot of curly, curly haired ladies. And I needed it. My hair was really dry it was just feeling i know what my hair feels like when it needs some love especially my ends so i just gave her a water rinse through um the people that i talked to about it were saying like it might come out it might come out but like i said i know my hair i had to keep reminding myself you know your hair chardelle it didn't come out <laughs> it did not come out um only the ones around the edges like the main two came out or were already out they've been out since like week week two and a half so those are out but other than that my hair sucked that water up and it loved it and i loved it and it felt good after that and i felt better after it as well so yeah that's what so that's what i've learned and that's what i did after i learned what i learned so i'm trying to think is there anything else that i need to tell you guys about my lock journey um it's been you know time is rolling but not rolling fast enough you know but looking back at pictures and even at this point 
um, has been really encouraging. And I think I am starting to bud a little bit on the first row in the back of my head. So that's that's interesting. Um, my husband was looking at my hair and he was like, oh, I think this one's budding. And I'm like, dab on it. You know what I'm saying? So that's a sad, that's exciting. But I'm going to reveal my hair now. I don't think I have anything else to tell you about it. I'm like still super excited. I've already brought the shampoos and conditioners because I will be a conditioned lock girl. Okay. Yes, I will be. I brought those things already for when I take over in January. Um, I still have some few things I want to get in regards to taking care of my hair. And we'll talk about all that. I'm also going to do, I said in this last video, a moisturizing routine video. But I'm just trying to get it down to where I think it needs to be. Um, other than that, I'm going to show you my hair now. I'm really excited about it. Because um, she's doing her thing. She, she looks real crazy. Looking real real raggedy um this last week i think um one thing that's happening with my locks is a lot of you know individual hairs are coming out of the coils of course so um there's been some attempt to marry some of them are trying to kiss each other and i've been having to you know just pull them pull them apart but um i think that really set in probably after the fourth week of me having my hair in which like this past week the fourth week so we scheduled my appointment for six weeks out because she was booked and I figured, you know, it would be fine. But I now can tell from at least in these beginning stages that I'm going to need to wash and retwist my hair every four weeks monthly to get it to get into a groove so so many hairs won't come out. And then afterwards, I'll be able to space it out because I told you guys before I'll be spacing it out. I will not be retwisting every month after my hair gets a hold of what she's supposed to be doing. Here's a reveal of, <laughs> so here she is in all her glory, still going strong. Everything is completely intact um, via or in regards to the actual coils themselves. I have some hair, you know, that's out all willy nilly, especially at the top just by itself you know like long strands like this that are out of whatever they're supposed to be in and of course my hair is like knotting together in different areas that I would like it not to so I've been paying a lot of attention to my ends um but yeah this is what your girl's looking like I am, you know, I was feeling really weird about it before I sat down in front of this camera and looked at it the first time I did this video. And I was like, oh, okay, it is, you know, doing its thing. I can imagine that, you know, they'll start to spread apart more like this and expand, you know, like this one is a little fatter right here. So I assume that's what will happen to most of them once it gets like shampooed. Well, over time of course and then back here which one is it that's budding a little bit or at least tangling maybe not so much as budding but it could be this one one of these in this back row oh I think it's this one so you can feel my hair obviously loose from here and then I can feel like, you know, a little bulging right here. And then I can feel the curl for the rest of it. So, I'm feeling good. I'm excited. And that's my update for my month month lock, um, lock journey. Um, I, did, I get my hair done a week from yesterday. So, next Saturday, the 18th. And I'm going to take you guys with me when I do that. And we'll see how my first new twist is going. And, yeah, that's it for this girl's update. Hope you enjoy.